This time I want to focus particularly on a strike by mine workers, miners, in the Warrior Met coal mine in Brookwood, Alabama. About 1,100 workers have been on strike there, members of the United Mine Workers of America, for several months. Toward the end of July, they came to New York City to protest in front of the offices of the BlackRock Asset Management Company, and I'll have more to say about that in a moment. Here's their concern. A few years ago, the coal company came out of bankruptcy. And as part of the bankruptcy emergence, uh, they got all kinds of concessions from the workers to help the company get back on its feet. And let's really remember, all the decisions of the coal company are made by the board of directors, by the tiny number of people who sit at the top of that company. Their decisions waltz that company into bankruptcy. But to get out of bankruptcy, they asked for, they needed, and they got concessions from the workers. The workers gave back some of what they had won in the past in wages, in working conditions. They helped fix the problems of the directors of that company, who had, of course, always excluded those workers from participating in the decisions until they messed it all up. And so the workers now say that the company, having made money, needs to compensate them for the concessions they made, reasonable request, and the directors won't budge. It's the kind of fairness that passes for social justice in capitalism normally. And so the workers are determined not to accept it. That's the important thing. Where does BlackRock come in? BlackRock takes money from wealthy institutions, wealthy individuals, and manages it for them. BlackRock happens to be the largest single shareholder in the Warrior Met Coal Company. You know, that's how rich people get richer. They siphon off the profits made by people who have to go on strike for months. That's the way our system works. And so they were in New York, in New York protesting in front of BlackRock. You might be interested to know that the leader of BlackRock, the CEO there, is Larry Fink, an ardent supporter of Donald Trump. It's not the only sign of labor militants. Here's a few more to give you a sense of how the world is changing. 17,000 teaching assistants and research assistants in the University of California system have come to join a union. They're moving to join a union and to get, finally, the pay, the recognition of their importance in that university, as TAs and RAs have that importance in every other. Then there's a vote to strike, a 98% vote of the workers to strike at a copper mine in Chile, the world's largest copper mine, and therefore a powerful shaper of that part of modern industry. And here's another sign of militants. More workers have been quitting jobs in the United States in recent months than have done so for years. The statistics are off the chart. What's that about? Workers, individually, yes, are deciding they're not going to take the wages, the working conditions, the disrespect, everything that goes with it. You know, they've just come through a year and a half of being told in many cases, how essential they were and their work was. Yeah, but their wages didn't show it and their working conditions didn't show it. And they understand that and they're angry. My hope and their future will depend on whether they can move from the individual protest of quitting to the organized union protest of changing the terms that every worker comes to work on.